because of cows or pigs or anything of that. Humans versus humans. You gotta realize problems and, and and that's where it gets hypocritical at this point well we, we need to save the cows well people are sleeping on the street the fucking mm-hmm. cows are the least of my problem mm, okay uh, yeah i, I mean will, I, I will save humans not cows i i i know what uh, people appreciate cows and chickens and pigs and they taste lovely but i want to see the survival okay so just, no fucking just... cows just to get some clarity on your position, are you saying that like we we should focus on these human issues first before the cows, or are you saying that like it's fine for someone to choose which issue they want to focus on, but for you personally, you would just have a preference to focus on human issues? I, I think if we focused on humans, the the benefit of that would flow right down the uh, the, the the I wouldn't say the food chain, but it would it would flow down the chain of uh, the apex of which we understand it to be. I think if we as humans treat others better, like ourselves, then the environment would be better, and then, well, species would be better. Uh, yeah. uh, things that we understand to be... Like, if you seen an elephant draw a painting, you'd be fucking amazed if you see a <laughs> chimp. Look, I, I, the one thing I pride myself on, uh, well, on, in, in like what I like is literally I used to watch David Attenborough right that was my favorite thing to watch when I was growing up as a kid I learned one crucial thing a lion eats a gazelle I didn't like it but it fucking does now are you gonna tell me that we're gonna tell lions to stop eating gazelles no, no we're not, not. No, we're not. But, but do you know we're, why do you no. know why I wouldn't tell you that though it um, can't because that's that's evolution, right? So we well, no. we are the top of the apex where we can go. Do we choose to impose suffering? Well, just right? through, just through that's quick, the point right? of being a vegan, right? Do, do we choose to impose a, a needless suffering on these animals? Now, I will tell you. Hopefully, in the future, we don't need to, but in this yeah. present circumstance, we do. Now, if you can convince people Wait. not to, then that's okay. But at the end of the day, is it's still going to happen. It's going to happen on insects. It's going to happen on plants. And in 20 years, you're going to find out that plants are literally as smart as fucking animals. Okay, because so they, don't have a, they don't have a brain. It doesn't make them less sophisticated than a fucking animal. Or they don't care. Sorry. Um, so there, there's just like a lot that you kind of went through there. You know, you were talking Organism. about, you know. I like, I like to study physics. It's a big deal. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, so you were kind of talking about, you know, if we treat each other better, it sounded like you were saying that would kind of um, it would help to how we treat animals. Yes. Yeah, and, you know, I do agree with that. Um, because I feel like uh, a lot of the animosity between fellow humans, um, we see a lot of that same thing in how we treat other animals. So I think certainly if we were to practice empathy towards um, ourselves, ourselves and each other, yeah, yeah. So humans actually, kill, humans kill people based on ideology. The last thing on your mind should be eating a cow. It should be why the humans kill each other over ideology. That's fucking insane. And then, you, and then you're gonna go. Well, why do we kill animals? Well, why do we fucking kill I other think, humans? I mean, you, I think pay attention. I, I think this is sort of where we disagree because it feels like this keeps coming back around to the point of you saying like there are all these. Pr- human-centered problems so you know why are we focusing on these animals before we focus on these humans because we're the top of the apex well i no. well no what i'm saying is like you you your critique against veganism is that your critique against it's not a critique one of of them but i don't have a critique i'm just saying is if you're gonna be a vegan then that's fine i've got nothing against you Uh, being a vegan maybe i misspoke then your critique against like advocating other people to go vegan then probably well no i'm just uh, Oh, I, I'm not even advocating critiquing. Well, I'm not even critiquing that. I'm just saying is if you're gonna say that I am a vegan and you're wrong as a human being, that's wrong. That's that's okay. wrong. You're not. You should not do that because what you're saying is your existence is wrong. And yeah, okay, they might have lived the way you do as people, but to say they're intrinsically less worthy or less human or less anything moral ethics which vegans always use like a religious 
fucking nuttard. No, don't use that argument because there's no way you're going to convince another human to ex- uh, to come to your side. If you tell someone you're a fucking idiot, on what god, on what planet do you think they're going to go? Oh yeah, I like that. They're not going to do that. Just just to step in here, um, uh, I understand what you're saying. I kind of want to go back to the central point of like talking about focusing on humans or prioritizing human issues over non-human issues. Um, I think that to do that kind of implies perhaps that non-human suffering is not as worthy of our attention, which I would disagree with because I think that although... So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to I'm just going to say this right now. It is. But it doesn't mean that other non-humans are less worthy of creation. Okay, well, maybe I could just kind of um, explain my viewpoint on that and then you could respond to it. Okay. Um, so the way the way I see it is although a cow is different from a human um, for obvious reasons, I think that we're both similar in our capacity to suffer and feel pain. And when we when we think about human suffering, that's probably where our mind goes as we empathize with that suffering and pain. Well, that same suffering and pain can be found in a cow or a pig or a chicken. So I don't really see a reason to say, you know, well, your suffering doesn't matter as much because you're a cow, right? It's- Especially when you consider the scale of these industries and all the horrible things that they do. But this suffering doesn't count because we have one goal, as far as we understand it, is to survive. They, well, we they, can do that with animal products. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tell you the honest truth. They are not as valuable as our own species. And if you think every animal below our apex is exactly the same, then you have no idea how evolution works or you don't comprehend the problem we face. We live in a universe that is beyond our comprehension in regards to what the fuck's going on. All we, need know, all we know is we, as the humans, need to keep going. Now, if you think a cow is, more, is as equal, or a chicken, or an ant, or a plant is as equal to a human, then you will go extinct. Well, they, I, I'm- and I'm not saying that because I want to be crass, or I want to be a dick. That's the fucking truth. If you don't believe in Darwinism or evolution, then that's that's what it says. We are the apex predator of planet Earth, right? right. Now, well, we we are responsible. This is this is one thing I'm going to agree on. We are responsible for how the other animals and whatever experience because we're in control. But if you think for one fucking minute, I'm going to trade the human civilization for a fucking cow, you are very, very mistaken. And I bet you a lot of people feel the same way as me. No, I mean, I completely understand where you're coming from. But I think the the important thing to note here is that no one's really asking you to do that. We can certainly advance human civilization. Sorry? You are. You're you're Uh, asking me to trade off things that we can't trade. Economically speaking, we can't well, trade. I mean, I would love the world to be vegan, but that's just the that's not the world in which we live in. We don't live in some zeitgeist where the whole world can just turn vegan. Right. Well, like well, my what, main what my fucking main plant point. you live on at this point. Oh, I'm sorry, my connection. No, it's not. It's just probably me talking over there. Never mind. She will be back later than you know. Sorry, my connection just dropped, so I didn't hear the last few seconds of that. But just to kind of go back to what my main point was, is that I, I'm not asking you to sacrifice, you know, the advancement of human civilization or anything like that. I think the the point I'm trying to make is that we can definitely advance our civilization, and we can just do so without animal products because we have no need for them, and they don't serve oh, any do. benefit to us. Oh, we do. Oh, it, it, it doesn't serve any benefit p- to people who are rich. Well, I was going to say it doesn't serve any benefit to us. The people who are rich. You you keep saying us like it's a human thing. It's not a human thing. That's the misconception of vegans. Like everybody can afford to go down and buy a fucking vegan meal every day. On what planet are you living? This This is the problem. You live in a fantasy world where you want the world to be different. And that's okay. It's called utopia. We don't live in fucking utopia. Oh, that's what I'm saying. People want something. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. Now, if you've got aspirations where we don't imply hate and, and pain and suffering on other animals, 
good. I'm pretty sure every human would agree with that notion. Nobody's disagreeing with that. But if I'm fucking starving at home and I need to feed the children of four and I'm a single mum, I'm going to eat a fucking pig or a cow or whatever the fuck it is to feed my kids. For you yeah, to tell yeah, me no. I'm immoral or I don't understand ethics, that's a fucking piss take more than I can possibly fucking imagine. Well, no, I, I understand. Like, I, I would never ask, like, a single mother to let her children starve. I think that the ideal thing to do... You would just berate them instead. No, no, no. I wouldn't. I would never do that because I think... Some of your friends position. would. Some of your friends would literally berate people for that same shit. Well, well, that those are just certain individuals, right? It's it's not who like who are cunts, who are complete cunts. This is the point about veganism. Well, veganism well, is a choice. Veganism well, is a choice. A lot of other people don't get to make, right? Well, veganism right, right, but, is a Western idea of choice. It's but, not something in Africa. It's not something in Brazil. It's not something in China or Russia. It's in the West where most people are fucking able to choose their lifestyle. You tell that to someone who lives in, I don't know, Canada, who actually is a, I don't know, a person who's fucking killing polar bears for their right. for their so, own so. shit. That's their heritage. And you're going to tell them, I'm going to lock you up because you kill fucking polar bears? Please. Um, uh, right. It, so sounds, you're, you're... it sounds like a pathetic position to take. In regards to not understanding the fucking planet. Right. So I think um, what's important is to advocate. Most vegans that I've met are simply advocating for veganism towards those who can go vegan. And you kind of mentioned or you, you alluded to the idea of veganism being expensive. And I think depending on what you purchase as a vegan. Well, Hold on, I just want to finish my point real quick. Um, depending on what you purchase as a vegan, it certainly can be. So if, if you're going you out and you're. If you're going out and you're buying like all these expensive, you know, vegan ice creams and vegan mock meats, definitely you can rack up a, a very pricey bill. But um, there are a lot of vegans I know who've been vegan, you know, while they're homeless, who've been vegan below the poverty line. And that's because they, they tend to stick to cheap vegan staples. So things like rice, beans, legumes, potatoes. That's, that's like not that. being vegan. That's just living on the edge. Listen, motherfucker, I'm half Jamaican. That's what we eat in general anyway. Rice, beans and eggs and shit like chicken. Right, if they're poor people's foods anyway, rice is the one of the most staple things. You know why? Because it's mass grown. I mean, this is the point you confuse economics with. It's the it, it's been a night. No, it's not, man. Veganism is a choice of the of, of the elite of the West who think we should look down on other people and tell them how to live. It's the same with global warming. We we dictated to the rest of the world. Well, we should, we should have carbon fucking neutral bullshit when we fucking destroyed the world in the, like, 17th century. And then we, we tell China you can't have coal mines anymore. And then they're telling us to go fuck ourselves, really. All right, so, so, so you keep alluding to veganism being kind of like a Western rich thing. and I think It that... is. That's where it came from, <laughs> the West. It didn't come from the East, darling. It came from the West. It came from, <laughs> it came from kids. In the 70s and all these fucking weird boomer fucking people who thought like saving the world means you have to eat less oh, meat. Oh, no, seriously, it did. That's where it came from. Look it up. And Greenpeace and all these fucking other stupid people okay, came so from yuppies who were. So, do you, th do you so think Stizer? people took the day off? Sizer, so. real quick. Um, so I, I've actually read a bit about, you know, the origins of veganism and stuff, and I'm skeptical of that claim. However, I am willing to, I, I am, will, I'm, I'm skeptical of the claim that like it's a Western thing, but I am willing to grant it to you, if not just to say like, even if it is something that originated in the West, like I, I don't understand how that would, you know, impact its validity or not, because something can originate in the West and something can originate from, you know, wealthy people and the ideologies behind it can still be perfectly sound. Because the West is full of shit. The, no, it's not well, valid. The well, West is full of shit. The, well, the West is some hypocritical... Well, hold on. I just want to finish my point real quick. Um, so the point I'm trying to make is that even if I grant that, the important thing is to, you know, separate veganism from that and look at it and say, okay, let's just look at veganism by itself, uh, independent of what I perceive to be its Western origins. And you look at it, and then you wonder from that perspective, 
whether it's something you agree with, whether it's something we should do, you know, I don't think it's fair to look at its origins. I think we but have to look game. at it as it stands on its own. But what's your end game of veganism? I mean, well, what, the, but this is the point where I like to raise with, with, with vegans is what's your end game? What would you like to see the end game is? That every animal can just be left by itself to do what it wants? That's not how nature works. That's artificial. That's artificial because we are literally artificially creating something that is not true. Well, I think when you when you say like what's the end game? No, when, no, when that's say- a zoo. You understand what I'm telling you? If we all became vegan, that means we created a zoo. That's not how. That's not how the world works, bro. Well, I'm not. I'm not quite. <laughs> sure what you mean by it. Well, okay, answer. let me explain to you. Are you going to stop a lion eating a gazelle? No, probably not. Well, and um, what, why, let me, let me, why is that the case? Well, I, I should clarify, like, I'm not going to actively go out and refrain or... No, I, I, no, I just wanted to answer okay. my question. Will you yeah, stop, yeah. will you stop a lion eating a gazelle? Well, I'm not going to go out and stop them because lions, um... <laughs> Okay, yeah, so sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes, wait, you are. wait. Just answer the question. Just, <laughs> no, I'm not going just to. listen, listen. Okay, no, you know. Right. And but, do, do, you know what, do, do you know what nature means in Latin? Well, I, sorry, I just, I feel like. No, I, I was just wanting to answer my question. Do you know what nature means in Latin? Can I just say one thing real fast? No, I just wanted to answer me. Question. That's fine. You, you say whatever the fuck you want, but answer my question. Do you know what nature means in Latin? Okay, to answer your question, no, you I do not know what it okay. means in Latin. Now, but, let but, me te- but just- no, but let me tell you what it means, because it would make more sense to your point. Nature means order. The natural order of things is nature, which means that it's normal for other shit to eat other shit, right? Now, we, as the most sophisticated, apparently, things on the planet, have a choice. Do we eat everything or do we let everything eat each other? Now, if that's the case, if that is the case, if we all choose not to eat meat, then we don't have any room for human beings because the population of the natural things, the order of things, will get way out of hand. You see, the reason why you have predators is to keep the natural balance in the system that we have. And you people, who are vegans, forget the basics of evolution. The reason why shit kills each other is to keep a natural balance. And if we Um. don't kill shit, literally kill shit, then they will get out of hand and there's no space for our species to occupy the land. Where do you want us to live? In space? Well, hopefully that might be the case, but not anytime soon. Okay, so just to kind of understand the point that you're making, are you then saying that like non-veganism helps us to maintain the natural order of things? We like already do this. Predators? We already do this called domestication. Right, right. But I'm, I'm just, I just want to make sure of that. So, are you we implying? Have cats. That- Right, but I'm concerned with animal agriculture specifically right now. So we don't worry um, about them. We control everything on the planet. Okay, so are you are you then saying that like consuming animal products helps us maintain this this natural order? Then yes, that kind of a point it, it actually does. At? There's some weird thing. I don't know if you know what it's called. It's called farming. Do you, do you think farming is some natural product of of reality, or do you think we actually made animals our bitches? How do you think you get cows? How do you think you get milk? How do you think you get all these products that we got to where we are today? Do you think we just dreamt that shit up? No, uh, yeah, I mean, I I understand the question you're asking, but I'm still confused. No, I'm asking you if you understand the... the, I'm I'm asking you if you understand how we got here as human beings. I I, I feel like I do to an extent, but I'm still confused. Like, you're, you're... you were talking earlier about, you know, how nature is this natural order of things. It's it's kind of how things should be or That's whatever. That's what it means. And That's what it, it says on the tip. Right, right, right. So I'm just trying to connect that to what we're talking about now. And I'm trying to figure out if your purpose of saying that was to say that animal agriculture helps us to maintain that natural order because of some... Of course it does. 
Okay, okay. So animal agriculture helps us maintain the natural order of things. So that's one of the reasons why unless you we think shouldn't... there's some unless you think there's some supernatural reason for why we farm cows. Well, I I, I don't know. Is there that, a supernatural but... reason for farming cows? I I don't think so. But the the yeah, reason so why that I... means I so that means well, I'm right. There's no the... supernatural reason for farming a cow. A cow is a domesticated animal. That's right, the reason are, why you've got to choose between being a vegan and drinking milk. It's because we domesticated cows. You yeah. have to, No, but you're, you're missing the point. Well, we already, I'm trying to make... Oh, no, 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 no. Let, let me just point out one thing. All the choices you make as a vegan was a choice because humans already fucked over the animals. Now you feel like you're beyond other humans in order to make them feel shitty when without the people who did what they did before you wouldn't exist that's called evolution so i don't know yeah. why vegans feel like they're entitled to say the word ethics and morals we wouldn't exist as a species without what we did to other animals and that yes, is called uh, evolution unless you think evolution's bullshit no, I don't. Um, and I, I agree that, you know, a lot of um, the farming in the past is what helped us evolve to, this, to the point that we're at today. But the thing is... It still is. Nothing's well, changed. What do you well, think's well, changed? Wait, wait, can, can I just finish making my point, please? And then you can respond to it. All right. So the, the point that I'm trying to make now is that certainly things we did in the past helped us evolve to the point we're at today but that doesn't mean that we have to continue them so just because we did something in the Oops. past and just wait just real quick so just because we did something in the past and just because it helped us get to where we are today doesn't necessarily mean we in that thing we it can just does. find all well not really because there are plenty it of things does that... because not everybody lives in a western democracy you, you you're leaving out the rest of the planet you seem to think everybody goes shopping at fucking Tesco's or something. Or everybody I've goes to Walmart. To the vast majority of the planet are poor. And they eat other fucking species. Right, right, right. But if, you go, if you go to Africa, right, and all these other countries, they don't fucking care about your veganism. You eat. What fucking planet are you living on? The vast majority of people are poor. They don't care what you think about veganism. They eat tarantulas, bugs, fucking ape brains. These don't give a fuck about your fucking isms. Are you mad? You just live in a Western country that gave you the idea that we should live in a utopia. We don't live in a fucking utopia. Get that shit straight. We live in a fucking mad planet. And the rest right. of us are lucky enough to be born in a fucking country where we don't have to eat monkey brains or tarantula ass. The rest of the fucking goddamn planet lives in poverty and eats other fucking animals. And if you want to tell me that's a good idea for us, the humans, to fucking not eat other fucking shit that is actually, you know, has a brain or whatever, then I suggest you do more about humans treating other humans like shit. You've got your fucking shit confused here at this point. No, Stizer, I think I think you're misunderstanding me a bit. So when I'm saying Sorry. that the point I was making the point I was making before when you were talking about how because we did things in the past and they helped us and we should continue doing them, then I was contesting that idea. I wasn't saying that across the board, like things that cultures did in the past they shouldn't continue to do. I was simply saying that something um having been done for a long time doesn't inherently make it good. But I it wasn't doesn't. I wasn't that's, right. that's true. It doesn't. Right. So that's all I was trying to say. I well, I wanna, but I want to ask you a question. What do you, in, in which, in your logical thinking, where do you think it changed? Sorry, we're, still do, we're still doing it now because it's required now. Nothing's changed other than your bullshittery about living in the world. Nothing's changed. The vast majority of people eat meat, eat shit with a conscience. Bugs, for instance, do you think a bug is less than a cow? Then they have, the, they have more or less the same brain cells. Do you think right. they're any less than a fucking cow because they go moo? No, <laughs> they still lay eggs and look after their kids and their insects, right? So what? How how low do we go on the line of uh, 
organisms, right? This is the point about a vegan. A vegan will always say, well, we don't want to cause harm and suffering. You eat plants. When did you stop to ask a plant if it gives a fuck? Did you ask a plant whether it likes the fact that you kill it? An organism, scientifically, is something that reproduces, doesn't require a brain at this point. Mm -hmm. But somehow vegans think an organism requires a brain. Do you understand what I'm saying here? We can go far down the rabbit hole, and I can go down to a plant. If you electrocute a plant, do you know a plant can scream if you fry a plant? I bet you didn't know that because you never read the scientific paper. Plants feel pain. But you wouldn't know that because, well, you're a fucking vegan. I read, <laughs> sci I know, I read scientific papers about organisms. You just apparently think that organisms require a conscience. They don't. Wait, organisms are something that multiply and have a weird amount of fucking um, neurons. Not that you call plant neurons, but you get the point, right? A nervous system. That's old school thinking. Oh, a plant doesn't have a nervous system, therefore the plant doesn't think. A plant knows when to grow its flowers, therefore it's paying attention to something. Just because we don't it, understand it doesn't mean it's fucking dumb. Sizer, I just, I'm just going to step in real quick, and um, I feel like you're kind of generalizing. Like, I ain't generalizing. I'm, I'm telling you about facts, well, about science. Well, no, 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 no. That's not, that's not what I'm referring to. What I'm referring okay. to is, is you telling me what I do and do not believe. But I also feel like we're kind of getting off the central point a little bit, which is, like, I understand why, because, like, there's, like I mentioned before, there's a lot to talk about. It's a big but, deal. Um, yeah, yeah. And, like, there's so much to impact with a subject like this. But um, I think uh, in order to kind of make our conversation a bit easier, it would be nice to... You can bring it back. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think it, it might help then to just focus as, not on should the entire world go vegan. And maybe we can talk about your personal contentions with going vegan. And I think that might I don't have any personal. Reason. To be fair, I don't have any personal contentions about people going vegan. If people want to well, choose to be vegan, well, that's just for them. I, I don't well, care. You know, it's I, a good thing for them. It's maybe a good thing for humanity. But it, it's not something I will, like, say... Um, God, it's not something I will beat them up over about. It's not something I will mm -hmm. fucking cry about. It's a choice. All right. We all have choices in life. People want to choose to be vegan, and good for them. I didn't yeah. eat meat for the best part of twenty years. So mm -hmm. I, 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 I understand could be that. I understand that take on it. What, what I when I said your personal contention with going vegan, that's not what I meant. I was more so referring to like um, I was vegan before find... vegan was cool. <laughs> I was I was more so wondering why you personally um what you found to stop you from you know omitting animal products from your lifestyle. Well, there's no reason. Or I see, if you need a reason to omit something, that means you need some, you need a reason to kind of like prescribe something else. And I don't I don't have one. You shouldn't be one. There should be a choice. If you feel the way you do, then that's fine. I don't see why everybody has to have some kind of like, I'm better than you philosophy, when there isn't one. We're all going to die. It, it, mm -hmm. It's up to you whether how you live. You don't need to tell me how to live. That's fucking stupid. So it's up to you. Now, if you want to, if you think animals mm -hmm. are Sorry, equal to... Sorry, my connection just dropped. Give it a few seconds. <laughs> No problem. You back? Okay, there we go. Yeah, back, we're all back. Okay. <laughs> um, what I'm saying is, if you think humans are the same as animals, well, that's cool. I've got nothing against that. I don't. I think every other species is below the human species. Now. Okay, so would would that be your? That's just my opinion. Walk. I'm just going to I'm just going to come in for one second. When you're mm -hmm. done with this guy, we're going to let Marty speak to him. So Okay. Just yeah. Really? yeah okay. He's a smart guy. He's got a master's degree. He's working on his PhD. He'll mm -hmm. give you a good debate. So, okay. we're going to let him at you after guac. Fun. Like I care. Okay. <laughs> what makes you think I want to talk to Marty? Like, oh, okay. I think you like I'm supposed to stay here. Just talk to some guy with a PhD. Okay. No. <laughs> Anyways, I only person who's actually being nice is a uh, grush. 
That's wrong, bro. I can't tell. <laughs> at, least, at least she's got fucking manners, apparently. You fucking idiots <laughs> haven't. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> um, all right. So from that, is, is your um your reason for not having yet uh, given up animal products, is it just kind of like this idea of, well, why should I? You know, like, you know, everyone everyone can make their own choices in life um, and we're all going to die. So why should I give up animal products? Well, it's not that. It's just I think uh, I think humans are retarded, first and foremost. And I think, <laughs> um, well, honestly, I do. I think we should focus on humans. Now, if you ask me, do I... Do I think uh, veganism is a big... I guess. To be fair. Um, mm-hmm. it, just, it just... It's not on my to-do list. Now, if people think that's a shitty thing... Then that's, I, I want to see this... And continue... Right. And people say, why? Duh. So, um, I, I don't know they, why they ask me that dumb shit. Right. So you, um, it, it sounds like this preference for focusing on human issues. And I think it's interesting that you mentioned that just because of the sheer amount of, you know, uh, atrocities that animal agriculture actually commits towards other humans as well. One of the examples of this is the are situated in areas of low income communities. And what ends up happening is these factory farms pollute those areas. So they'll pump waste. Before? Sorry, what? I said that before. Okay. Uh, but the problem is, humans need to treat humans uh, the better treatment of animals. If you can't, if we can't treat our own species in a respectable way, <laughs> what what chance of animals got? You must be stupid mm-hmm. at this point. And, and that's my <laughs> well, that was my point is that you must be fucking dumb at this point. Humans what? killed sixty million. Uh, other humans in World War Two, and you honestly think I give a fuck about a cow? Well, no. I, I think I think I, this I, is. I'm a... Sorry, I've got different priorities than a vegan. That's, I'm just, I rather, I rather depropagize uh, the notion of a neoliberalism and the shit shit storm of monetization or whatever. You know, it's like I've got my own priorities. Like, it's fine being a vegan. There's nothing wrong with being a vegan. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying this. I don't have the same priorities as you. I'm as, I'm as, um, what can I, I am as, uh, I'm trying to find the right, I'm trying to find the right word. What I'm saying is, I'm behind trying to benefit humans just as you are trying to benefit other sentient beings. I just have a different choice. That's all. And if you don't like that, that's cool. Well, we can benefit both, though. Like, this kind of goes back to the what we are talking about kind of at the start, where it's, it's definitely not an either-or. Like, you could go vegan and still hold the same passion that you currently have for fighting human-related causes. You know, like, it, like going vegan isn't going to detract from that at all. Yeah, so it's not, fine. Not, not, Wait, not just one more me. thing, please. Just one more thing, please. Thank you. Um, so, it, like, you could you could go vegan, and uh, it's not going to take away from your ability to do that at all. Um, and it's fine to to prioritize human issues over non-human issues, um, but that that doesn't mean that you can't actually also go vegan because I you never said you that have didn't. to prioritize non-human issues as being equal or even above human issues. It's not. It, it isn't, but it's it's a preference. And I prefer to focus on human issues. I think I'm doing better than vegans by prioritizing humans, not fucking over other humans. Basically, well, I, I don't. I don't see why other humans should uh, kill elephants, based on a, 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 an old notion that ivory is somehow a special gift from the god. Most most of the the animal slaughter we see. Is based on um, religion, basically. If you look at uh, killing sharks for shark fin soup, it, that comes from a, an old bullshit idea that it, it helps Chinese people. It's fucking disgusting. You know, there's a lot of things in life that we could stop doing when it comes to hurting animals. That's just based on humans fucking weird. 
if humans stop being fucking, I don't know, insultingly fucking arrogant and egotistical, mm-hmm. like some vegans are, then they would change the world a lot more differently than, than they see. And veganism doesn't have to be just not eating meat. Veganism can not buy certain clothes or certain products because certain products you buy, they kill fucking animals. Do you fucking give a fuck? No. Well, so it's a, it's 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 a it's a multi factor thing. It's what you want to focus on. If you if you're focused on eating meat, then it's cool. But there's a lot more to veganism, I would say, than just eating meat alone. It's about your lifestyle and what you purchase. Right. In my um, so, opinion. So I'm probably gonna go soon and hand you over to Marty uh, in a bit. But before oh, I go. Don't. This- <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sizer. Um, but before I no, go, this is... <laughs> I, I'm just going to stop when you stop. You're, you're the nicest person who's actually bothered to uh, have an actual conversation. So I don't know whether I want to continue with this conversation when you leave. Because they seem to be fucking aggravating cunts. And you, you haven't been, which is quite nice. Well, you know, you can always give him a try. Don't judge him before you get to talk to him. But something sure. that... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Something that yeah. I like to ask um, all non-vegans I talk to is just whether or not you've seen, you know, factory farming footage or any of that sort of stuff. I've seen that. I've, been, I, I, I've seen um, the worst kind of shit, like pigs getting put in a fucking blender. Mm-hmm. I still like bacon, though. It tastes delicious. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think a lot of vegans, including myself, would happily concede the fact that those products taste good. Um, but the the point of interest here is just the fact that they do come from those conditions of excessive cruelty. And I think when we get that nice, pretty packaged bacon, it's really easy to disconnect ourselves from where it came from. You know, like well, see- I think what you're doing is that I think what humans do is disconnect themselves from human interactions as it is. I I think there's. Um, I would like to talk to you more on this. I think you misunderstand where veganism comes from philosophically mm-hmm. speaking because there's a lot more to this than just eating animals and a lot of people just disregard that shit maybe you should I... schedule a uh, a round two <laughs> i mean i'm happy to talk to him again um i think they're definitely i would like things. to because you're not a cock <laughs> you, put, you like cocks clearly maybe you know what i don't know maybe a lesbian but you know i had i had a better discussion with you than i did in the last uh i don't know fucking an hour and whatever it was talking <laughs> to these fucking waffles who wanted to ask me retarded questions <laughs> all right well i think i'll get off now because i have class tomorrow and i'm trying to be better about my sleep schedule but it was nice to get to talk to you and yeah hopefully we can get the chance to talk about this again so thank hey, you. well um just dm me and stuff and we can sort that shit out great debate sure. guys and Stizer, if you're ever looking for others you can always come in here um <clears throat>